Alright, hello everybody, hello B-Champ, hello Will. Hi, how's it Um, Just making a quick little, I guess, video announcement to talk about this upcoming World Cup, which has theoretically already started. Um, yes, okay. It has, the first game has, has taken place. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, so that was like, that's just the first game, right? Because it's best of three. Yes, yeah, it is another hiccup three. in recording. So the game was a bit delayed in starting, so one of the players had to leave a little early. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. I only had some kinks, right? Um, B Champ, you kind of started this whole ball rolling. You want to talk us through uh, the idea behind the World Cup? Damn, I'm so offended. Yeah. So, well, the thing is, it really was Will here. <laughs> I, was, I was interested in starting a tournament, and you know, I've been talking about that for a little bit. Um, but. The will floated the idea of the World Cup, and so making it um, kind of region-based or country-based, so everyone could kind of represent their own race country. Race-based, or yeah, you really yeah, want to exactly. see which race is the best that I see? <laughs> <laughs> That's Brandon's whole yeah. thing. <laughs> Essentially, yes. Uh, and so, trying to um, uh, I guess team up, you know, people by by kind of the area or region <laughs> well or it race. typically it typically <laughs> works out pretty well because religion most of the folks creed. religion and creed exactly um, species <laughs> it typically works out pretty well because most of the time um we've got a lot of disparate groups of people in the ic community and it's typically like we've got a group of people from france who all play together uh and they're pretty tight-knit so it's cool to be able to have those guys on a team um because you know they play pretty well together uh, and we don't necessarily get to play with them all that often, and it's just kind of cool. It would have been great it's if we could see same some... Same with the uh, Black Tigers, actually, as well. Exactly, yeah, they're Swiss. Uh, and we didn't even know they were Swiss, I thought they were German, that shows, doesn't it? Yeah, same. How embarrassing. Um, it's a shame we couldn't get any South Korean representation, because I think that would have been really, really cool. Um, one sec, I'm actually going to start been... streaming on Discord so you guys can see my army builder. But that would have been oh, yeah. Uh, it would have been Junsu been... and Guan, not Guan Long, other Guan. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah, I remember the one. Okay, you guys see my I see Angu? Uh, uh yes I that. do. Yum yum. My current done. Got some uh zebra frog. Yeah, that's all that's in there at the moment. I thought we could just go through what we kind of expect to see in the tournament, um, to kind of prepare the folks at home. Um basically just what's in the meta at the minute. Um yeah. Uh, are we doing it by level like level two ranged right now? Or yeah. Let's hit, let's hit with some level two range. And this is definitely not. Can I just stress right now? This is not a clandestine attempt on my part to learn what units are good. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'll I'll throw uh, quite hey, a little bit. Before you do, can or I just say that? Uh... Look, this tournament is not going to be the most serious of all things. Of so course, you're right. We should have mentioned that. Meta, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the World Cup is that we know that some countries have better players, or rather, better players have that in common. That they're from the same country for some reason. Britain's it's a race great. thing. It yeah. comes back to <laughs> is it really, is it... it's like, you're already the, the whole point is that it's going to be a bit of a laugh. It's going to be a bit fun. So yeah, it's yeah. going to be a good time. We hope everyone's going to enjoy it. Um, I know I've been talking a lot with Kiki and Marco, who are <laughs> they form the team of former Axis powers of Romania and Italy, uh, and they're coming back to win World War Three this time. Um, and I, they've been talking to them a little bit about what they want to do, and they, they're having a really good time with it. I'm really excited to see their games. Um, I'm looking forward to see them, uh, how they play, or how they finish the game they played earlier, actually. Yeah, yeah, I actually do it. Does anyone know how that first game went? It was it was Romania-Italy versus... Uh, France-Algeria. Yeah, how'd that go? And uh, so it was game one on, was on a road report, only game played, and France-Algeria took the victory. Wow, no kidding. Yeah, yeah. It was actually um, a pretty bold strategy uh, with a 4 minute and 50 second level 2 Whoa. by Freeman. Yeah, he went for two workshops before building a single rod or got... No uh, yeah, right shit! Thing. Holy hell! Yeah. Yep. And then it just ended up... Uh, the game at level three. Yeah, with, with rattle horses. 
That's phenomenal. Just raided everything at the same time. Yeah, I just went level three, just went all out. Dude, that's the um, shit I want to see. I'm so excited to see that replay. Um, maybe we'll 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 save any more spoilers for that until the actual replay itself, because that's gonna hit YouTube soonish, right? Are you gonna wait till you get yeah, the I'm other game from that round? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was planning on it just so it's easy, then, uh, easier to um, kind of stitch together and people can watch it all at once. Yeah, 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 that's smart. That makes a lot of sense to me. That's cool. Um, what game do you think is going to be up next? I think I think we're going to try and organize uh, me and Guan representing Team Australia versus uh, you and Ben, Beecham. Is USA yeah. 1? I'd be willing to do that tonight if you know it happens within the next hour or so. Yeah, get hype. I'm excited for that. If if uh, Guan shows up, we'll definitely do that. Um, that's another thing to note about this tournament. It's pretty casual, so we haven't really got predetermined times. Um, we've had a lot of trouble in the past with tournaments getting people to actually show up to play the games. So we're just kind of trying to keep it loose over the next couple weeks. <clears throat> so expect sporadic video uploads for sure. Yeah, but uh, this next one is Team USA versus Team Australia. Theoretically, hopefully. so and um, and look, I really oh, got to yeah. tell you, you're gonna go down. You're going down. I mean, it's pretty obvious. I don't think that's gonna surprise anyone. Uh, my team is uh, pretty high seeded. We're actually seated um, tenth for some reason. Oh. Whoever organized the seeds, yeah. we did get we did get positioned tenth. <laughs> out of not being seated three. Out wow. of how many teams again? Uh, twelve. Sure? twelve. Out of twelve. So tenth out of twelve. Okay. So that's definitely fair and balanced. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> so I, I started making the seeds, and then there were just certain teams that I wanted to play each other, and so I adjusted them a little bit. Right. So hang on a second. Because I didn't. Okay. Want... <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, no, okay. no, because I didn't. I didn't want. I didn't want some of the the teams of the less skilled players just playing the really really good players off the bat. Okay. No. Yeah. Hang on. You're actually you're actually done. I'm shutting you down. You're cancelled. Because what you're just telling me right there is that you manipulated the seeds so that your team would be versing me and Guan, the tenth seed, in the first round. Fantastic. No, that is not corruption not in the World Cup. Our... You heard it here first, folks. I did not base it around our seed. I based it around other seeds. <laughs> yeah, other seeds which are based around your seed. <laughs> Traitor. This is a farce. I'm, one of you wins. I'm busting the lid on this. The Black Tigers, so... Good oh, one. yeah, actually, that's okay. I'll take a dive. <laughs> I forfeit. <laughs> See ya. Um, okay, so... Oopista, what am I looking for? That's right, that's right. Sorry, I'm still... Level two range. I'm actually going to show off um, Hammer Pista, which is mad. Uh, I'm expecting yeah, to see a few of these guys. Do you know what we saw in game one from Kiki and Marco or from Freeman? Uh, we saw Rattle Horses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rattle Horses <laughs> yeah. is a perennial classic, for sure. Um, I actually remember all of the units we saw, so... You do? Mm-hmm. That's impressive. Alright, Rain Man, lay it on me. Uh, we also saw a Coyote Dolphin. Dolphin Body and Tail. Hell yeah, those are, those are like, old classic, man. I dig it. Yeah, that was uh, something that Kiki had. What did Marco bust out? That's what I'm really interested in. That's what I want to hear about. Uh, Zebrons. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, he did. No, uh, with the, with the uh, yeah. Hell yeah, my boy. What? The UAFK. Oh um, no, so with the coyote, um, with the <laughs> with the coyote uh, head. Oh okay. Oh cute. Yeah, it's something I hadn't seen before. Yeah, I have seen him use those once or twice. I like him. I mean, only seven nice, damage level two. It's not too bad. It's all right. That'll do it. <clears throat> uh, Marco brought Poison Fibras, uh, but with uh, Zebra from Legs. Okay, that's controversial. I think I prefer... I mean, the speed. I think I prefer no, the I other prefer this variant. You'll see me using both, but I like uh, this one quite a lot too. Okay. We right. saw uh, Cheetah Scorps. That one's better. Cheetah Scorps, okay, that's a classic. Are we expecting level 2 Barrier Destroyer to be meta in this tournament? Because it used to be pretty huge, and I haven't seen it too much recently. But it depends who you're playing, I think. I think we'll definitely see it. I think we will see it, but I think the yeah, elements or part of the joy of having a uh, a two v two tournament is the team players going to come in. Yeah, we saw this so with like the scorpion torso, actually. Always. Whoa, no shit. Oh. Uh, we also saw the mountain lion variant of that as well. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so B Champ no, no. says we definitely will see level two barrier destroy. So I'm just going to write down here on my notepad level two barrier <laughs> destroy from B Champ. Okay, cool. Well, so what's your next secret? <laughs> B Champ um, warthog range. Look at warthog porcupine. That's true. Yeah, warthog. That's the big level two range. According to B Champ, I think he's probably pretty close. I'm not sure if it is superior, but it is really, really good. Um, porcupines at the moment, as Stella pointed out, probably getting undercharged for their range attack at the moment. Um, because they do piercing damage, but you don't really pay for the piercing damage very much. Then we get their damage is a little bit lower, I think, though, isn't it? Yeah, but it's piercing. Um, it, it depends, yeah, again, it's... Yeah, you get for that damage, yeah, right? It's a, it's a toss-up. It's basically like, it's like with horns. If your enemy has high health, um, high defense, then it's probably worth doing. Um, the other thing that I'm yeah, really well, interested in in the meta is going to be flyers, because flyers have been huge lately, and I'm expecting to see a lot of those in World Cup play. Uh, I expect you'll see Horse Hornet pulled out at level 3. Yeah, that's actually, I forget, I think there was a Steve original, or did, did Logan come up with those? I think it was Logan, actually. Yeah, okay. Um, they're very zifty. They have a horse tail, right? No. Hornet tail. Okay. Hornet body and tail. Uh, and horse backpacks. Is, is, it, is that right? I don't think that's right. Uh, swap the front legs, maybe? The front legs, there I think. Are, yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. yeah, cool. What a cutie. Uh, and of course, the albatross beetles. Uh, uh, I've five, been. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god, they have actually been scaring the hell out of me. They are pretty brutal. Um... Yeah, I find that uh, they they don't really have a lot of weaknesses on the ground, but they're just not as good against other flyers in general because of the cost. That's true. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. So I mean, I, might... I never try fighting flyers with flyers, so. Yeah, it, uh, you can take them out pretty easily if um, you have any, like, I, if a behemoth flyer or a giant squid flyer is usually what I use. Yeah, cool. And so I've, I found those to be pretty effective. See, one of the things with flyers is that they're very anti-meta of the last patch. Yeah, correct, yeah. So that's why they're seen as, or that's why they're so popular at the moment, I should say. Yeah, well, that's that's why they're interesting, because the tournament, though. I, I, I think we will see it, um... Uh, no, but do you think we'll see like plague or defile or like off man stuff loners maybe mm, loner i don't think so um i'd love to bring it takes a little bit of team coordination to pull out like a defile but i would love to bring that out because i really like defile i think it's a really cool ability um, all right note to self will <laughs> defile correct yes um <laughs> but it's okay because i'll defile guan because we've done absolutely no coordination <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Do you think we'll see a lot of people bring flyers. I I'm I'm excited to see. I'm actually really excited because I think we're likely to see um, a. I think the top seeded team is England one, which is Mutt Sniper. Am I right about that? Yes. yes. Yeah, that's that's a really cool team. That's definitely the one to watch because they're where we will see like the best fundamentals and also. Uh, I think they're the ones most likely to bring out something like web. I think they're definitely. Um, I think there's a high chance of seeing um, the black tigers whip stink. out stink flyers. Oh um, yep, yep. Black tigers will certainly stink. Yeah, yeah. That seems to be the whole thing. They they are stinky boys. Um, yeah, stink defile. The, uh, they're they're yeah. Um, I think we'll definitely see flyers from Tim Australia as well as Guan loves his flyers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully. I don't actually know what's in Guan's army, so that's, that's going to be a, a treat for me as well. Um, let's let's hit me with some other good flyers, actually. What are we looking at here? What level are you looking for? Um, hit me with anything. I'd like to see... Are there any Scoop. level 3 flyers that are meta these days? Because I haven't seen any, really, except Horse Swan. Well, we are Scorpion as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I've I've seen, seen this... many other boys than these. I think I've seen this from Zephy, a kind of like a meme, but it worked, frustratingly. 44 health, but it's cheap as chips, hey. That's basically free for a flyer. 
Yeah, certainly. And if, the, uh, the thing is, I don't know if this will be uh, very practical to mass up because really you need quite a few of these to to really do much. If we were going to see it anywhere, uh, it would be in devastating when they did it. You see that a lot in free for alls. It's probably not likely to work in a two v two. Yeah, unless It'll you be have too much a... pressure. That's right. If you have if you have an ally that can just hold the opposition off, but that's not. I don't think we're going to see that in this tournament. Um, we might see some people try to use it. Uh, anything else at level three? So one of the ones I like but I haven't used yet is Snowy Owl and Man of War. Oh yeah, that's four, oh. right? No, it's level three. Holy shit! Okay, cool. Uh, with the claws. So head and claws, Man of War. Okay, yeah, yeah, twenty-one with poison. Wow, wow, that's pretty yummy. And so I've I've always liked the idea of low defense flyers purely because anti-air towers have piercing. piercing. Yeah, focus focus on health so instead of. Yeah, that's that's interesting. I mean, Sonic will absolutely shred low defense units. Um, I love bringing Sonic, so I think it's. I, I mean, if you have the if you have the same. EHP, then it shouldn't matter, right? Yeah, I guess. It's hard to get, though. Yeah, that's interesting. I think it's... Um, it's Soundbeam Towers, I think, are much more effective against low defense units. I don't think Sonic makes any difference with defense. I think you're right about that. Oh, does Soundbeam have, like, an extra nerf to defense? Something, something's telling me that in the back of my brain. Maybe that's just like the kind of thing that they said in Vanilla IC that didn't end up being uh, true. But that's just one of those little uh, truisms like that's Lucy always... Willing said it in the tutorial. That's right, yeah. some shit like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That might just be might just be hearsay horse shit. Um, yeah, that's, that's super cool, Will. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, so that's a very spicy boy. I haven't seen... I, I would... I think I found it. Uh, what's that one? I might have stolen it, but I think I found it. Uh, either way, you get credit. Uh, Thomas Edison over <laughs> here in Vaulting the Light Bulb. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, you should bring that out. I want to see that. Um, what about level four? What do we got? I, don't I think we're going to see. A, I think we're going to see a larger variety of level fours. At least my armies. I've been expecting to not get to level five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, or maybe I'll have so I normally do for like a 3v3 army i'll do one level four three level fives but here i've been doing two at least two level fours yeah yeah and so for me that means bring uh uh generally going to be a melee and arranged yeah for sure uh, occasionally an artillery and so i've been expanding my my level four melee and ranged a lot it seems like hippo ranged is the most common mm -hmm. yeah yeah. Um, yeah hippo range is super good at level four yeah yeah. And then we'll see a lot of, I'm sure, Crocodile uh, melee. Yeah, Crocodile is going to be the dominant level 4 melee for sure, because you can do anything with Crocodile. It's like, actually, I want to talk about Bulls at level 3 as well, but we'll talk about Crocodiles for now. Um, you can do anything with the Crocodile at level 4. Um, you can have just a regular Crocodile and give it a passive ability, and like it's Regen or Overbomb. so good, and yeah. It's super or good. Frenzy, yeah. Yeah, or Frenzy, or exactly. Frenzy. Puck Frenzy I've seen as well. Oh, Piranha uh, Dials? That's spicy. Mm -hmm. Um, what was I going to do? Let's say is this guy level 5? Oh no, he's only level 4. Okay, shit. <laughs> yeah, they're very yeah, good. Yeah, he's a, he's a beautiful boy. Um, I think there's a lot of giraffe at level 4 as well. Giraffes are really, really good. Yeah, love it. But I think it I gets think out competed by sniper. crocodiles most I of the time. That's true, because of like the speed is inherently really useful. Yeah, but leap attack on crocs, man. And crocs have great water speed. Yeah, I think it depends on what you're going for. Mm, yeah, I'm much. thinking like stuff like raiding giraffe lobsters or giraffe rattlers. Yeah, yeah that's, or, that's and, tasty. Uh, giraffe narwhals. Yeah. Oh, don't yeah, talk to me about giraffe narwhals. Those are bad. Giraffe canadians, <laughs> giraffe cuttlefish. Um, sorry, just giraffe to clarify, giraffe giraffe gi cuttlefish are level five. Okay, yeah, that's not too bad. I can accept that. Yeah. Um, but I think I think even scarier than Croc at level four. And actually, let's just show a little bit of Croc at level four. Let's just show a little Croc, won't we? So you can do this with. Let's actually check out the piranhas, just because that's funny. B -b -b 
Piranha starts with a P, right? It does, yeah. Okay, there you go. Look, 406 coal is not cheap, but the stats at level 4 are totally worth it. And 26, 27 yeah. speed is good. Like, that's fine. The thing yeah. is, when you're making these, you're making these to kill a level 4. You don't want to get to level 5 if you're massing these, because they're that expensive. Yeah, I agree with that. So um, if you don't win with these at level 4, you probably lose the game. Yeah, but you should win with this level 4. <laughs> it's hard to hold this off with these stats. Um, let's see... Oh, you saved it as Kamibra. I did, I yeah, That, I really, know. Hurt me. that really, really hurt me. I wasn't going to say anything, but... I've done it with all of them so far. I'm sinning left and right. Um, okay, let's see... Okay, one that... Uh, actually, no, let's check out the lobster. I think that's a cooler idea. Lobster... And, uh, you have to swap the front legs. Uh, oh, oh, boo! Oh, Actually, you don't. Okay. It's only twenty-one speed, just... but that might. Let's compare that to the croc. Let's compare the rattlehorse to the cambebra real quick. <laughs> uh, I personally, I would, I would go for the rattlehorse. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think it's better at raiding, but. It's got 96 less health. Like, it would not win in a straight-up fight. I mean, but look at that defense plus the... I mean, yeah, I guess that's... the Pack Hunter and Frenzy, you're right. Yeah, Pack Hunter and Frenzy. Pack Hunter and Frenzy puts but... it way over the line. Yeah, but the, the defense plus regen uh, helps a lot. Yeah, for on the, sure. On the lobster. For sure. And 108 electricity less. That ain't nothing. Yeah. Um, yeah, it might be a more versatile unit. Um, and it doesn't have immune, but it maybe doesn't need it because you've got defile. Uh, but here's, here's the real scary shit. Are you ready? Zef, Zef is basically, uh, my IC guru. Basically, whatever he uses in a game is so much better than anything I use. It really makes me sad. Um, <laughs> okay. he actually, I was playing him with Guan, like, yesterday, and he just took me to full school. He beats the hell out of me. Um... With this kind of shit. This is level three. And well, it's so I would like good. to say that I invented this. Yeah, I think I think I think he takes a lot of units from you. Um, and that doesn't make me feel any better about my chances later on today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, this is this is uh, one of my favorite level three melees. It's level insane. three melee is actually my favorite um, my favorite I guess type of unit. Class? I guess, yeah, or? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what, whatever. Things. But yeah. Uh, yeah, this is this might be my favorite at the moment. You see, it's so bulky. It's so bulky. It's got three hundred and fifty-three health at level three. How is that possible? And only twelve attack, but it's got horns. Yeah, and frenzy. You don't see horns that much. Well, you didn't. Sorry, prior to a couple of weeks ago, you didn't see much horns at level three. Now you see it all the time because bull is so good. Um, so yeah, look out for bulls at level three and crocs at level four. Um, Ostrich at level three as well. I think you'll see a lot of ostrich. Ostriches are very good. Um, ostrich. I think a lot of people bring ostrich, like walking sticks or lobsters or vultures or something like that. I think you definitely damage. will. Uh, write that on your notepads, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just ostrich party from Will, so let me tell you. Um, that's the biggest albatross around my neck, actually. Building the ostrich, I will regret it to my dying breath because it always beats me every single game. <laughs> so one yeah, it is very good. We'll be bringing, uh, and I want you to have a look at this: is cheetah python at level two. Ooh, that's it's sexy. Entirely cheetah. Oh, yummy. That yep. looks great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. We'll be bringing that. Ah, oh, holy hell! One hundred and forty-five health, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Cheetahs are pretty speed, good right? at medium sizes like that. That's really impressive. Thirty-eight speed. Just get out of here. And they can use them on water maps. So. I did a. Wow! Um, it's Cheeto. right on the cusp, boss. Well done. Yeah, I know. Um, a a cheetah like with the uh, eagle head is also very. Good. Oh, yum! You know I love my bird head. So I, I this was I, I picked this before realizing that um, leap attack was limited in range. Cause I thought that Sorry? you could leap as far as I I thought that you could leap as far as your sight was. 
And but so then, wouldn't that I mean that like, you can like sonar pulse the enemy base and attack them from <laughs> home? I didn't think I wasn't I wasn't really thinking that through, and so I I previously thought, wow, this is going to be so great because I have so much sight. That's that's um, very like funny. That. I like it a lot. It is good. It's basically the same as Will's Diamond, except instead of a regen, it's got one more melee. And keen sense. And keen, which is like you know, there's a niche for that. It probably yeah. gets outcompeted by the Python. <laughs> um, one on one, I think the Python would win but I, I think, think so. Yeah. Keen definitely has a good niche, especially at like late game level two, because if someone gets to level three first, look, camo is very common at level three. Yeah, I suppose so. Well, um, maybe not very common, but it's very good. Here's the real MVP though. Dun, 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 oh, six damage, boo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's only size two. No, that sucks. Um, I've seen Kiki is it with Vulture? Yeah, that'll do it, um, for sure. Oh, I've seen, seen Logan use the Vulture as well. Uh, one thing that I do think we'll see is Pack Hunter Melee level 2. It's... Uh, I've you been... jump right that down. It's, it's, good, <laughs> it's good shit. It just seems to work really well. Um, this one is... <laughs> this is my preferred variant, Lona. <laughs> 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 um, this is pretty good. Um, oh, I like that, yeah. 12 damage pack hunter, level 2. 30 speed, no leap. Um, but 12 damage with pack gets up to, what, like 16 or something? And at level 2, that's mental. A uh, little bit lower health. 44 at is a little bit on the high side, but I'd pay for it. I think there's a hyena panther variant, but I can't remember. There certainly is, yeah. Um, actually, fun nice fact: fourteen damage and pack. Hyena pa hyena panther is also, I think, one of the two or three most optimal level two loner melees as well. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Even yeah, and you, but you still melee. pay for the pack. Even though it has pack, it doesn't matter. You only build one. Wow. Basically, you optimize it around melee damage. And it's this or the Praying Mantis, but the way it works is they neither of them can one-hit a henchman. They both two-hit a henchman. So you're better off to pick the one with higher defense, which I think is the Hyena Panther. No, but if you do it with Frenzy, then you can one-hit a henchman. No. Incorrect. <laughs> but Frenzy is double damage. Um, no, it doesn't for some reason. No, hang on. i got to think about this, because it didn't work. I don't think it's double loner damage. Oh, no, you're right, it's because they're additive, not multiplicative. Yeah, exactly, yeah, so it doesn't work out. I thought the same thing. Um, anyway, you're talking about something like this at level 2. Yes, I think so. You can also do it with hyena, uh, Panther oh. Claws, Hyena Breast of Body. Either way, hey... Um, this is probably no, no, slightly no. better. No, no, no. Hyena Head, Hyena yeah. Body, Hyena Tail. Uh, yeah, or... Obviously you can swap the back legs as well if you want. Yeah, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, yeah, no, obviously for 73 a leg though, boss. That's a bit more sane, hey? It's just an option. There are other, probably, better pack counter units at level 2, but... I don't know, 14 damage, that's pretty impressive. Uh, I think the baboons generally are better. Baboon, yeah, tarantula, I, I, I really like Baboon Panther. Uh, I've used uh, that. Wolf Lioness. That's one of my favorite units. Oh, Wolf Lioness, that's really cute. It's um, uh, all Lioness, Wolf back legs. Let's check that out. I have become a big fan of Tarantula level 2. Um, yes. Oh, and that's wolf back legs. Yeah, Nothing that's good as the uh, hyena mountain lion as well. It's nice. Uh, very similar there. Um, throw me a tarantula level two, bitch. Uh, one of my favorites these days is um, tarantula and wolverine. Oh wow! Is that a one tile? Don't tell me that's a one tile. No, it is not a one tile. Okay. This is. <laughs> yeah, this is wild. Okay, let's see. What's going to be the best way to do this? Uh, do a tarantula torso and wolverine head. 
Well, this one will work. Yeah, there you go. That's... Oh, I, might, I might get rid of the disco barbs just to get the elect down, because... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they're nice. Might be... For me. Might be worth it. Yeah, I mean, with Frenzy, you get, like, the whatever 1.5 movement speed. And you can't go past this pose. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's yeah. going on here? Oh no! <laughs> also, I love um, just a, on the level of spiders, Black Widow vultures. Yum! That's what I like to see. I love seeing Black Widow used. Dude, Black Widow is actually a really good start. Black Widow novels really nice. Yeah, it's so yum. Uh, Black, Widow Black Widow vulture. You said. I think, I think Black it's Widow like that. Is level three. That's all right. It's okay, it's uh, like Vulture model. Vulture, look at the way the vulture's eyeballs wrap around its eyebrows. That is so unfortunate. <laughs> Dang, man. Where's the remodel? Um, that's cool, though. 28 speed. A little low on health and defense. I mean, a little low on defense. The health yeah. is fine. Can I suggest something, too? Hey, Penelo, what's up? Penelo, welcome to the, <laughs> welcome to the video. Yes, thanks. Yes, uh, what, what do you want to suggest? Yes, a uh, cuttlefish and a walking stick. Like, just a cuttlefish head. Yeah, and he's, the rest is a... he's a cutie. I think he's kind of high on a leg. Uh, Check it out. Oof. Yeah, 86 electricity is probably more than I would want to pay. Um, at level 2. But he's very cute. I agree with, with both of those counts. Yeah, <laughs> we can look at uh, cuttlefish warthog. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He's back on his warthog crusade. Yeah, well, yeah, it's I've just a spider for you shortly. Probably the best unit. Yeah, it's so good. Um, it's a shame we didn't manage to get the next patch out uh, in front of this tournament because I'm really, I'm really keen on the level two range in the next patch. It's going to be really, really cool. But that's enough plugging that. Um, this is a good boy. Yeah, yeah. This is I, a good boy. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, I think I put in the Upton Julius army. Um, it's worth... This, oh, no, the... I did not. I did not put it because I was going to put this one in, but it is not a 119 power, and so I decided not to. I think it's like... Okay, fair one, enough. I think it's like 112 power. Okay, that makes 114. sense. 114. Uh, what's that spider you got for us, Will? Uh, Lioness Black Widow. Ooh... Yummy, yummy, yummy. And this is why, this is why level, th uh, you wanted level 3? Yep. This is why level 3 melee is so much fun. Beecham says it's his favourite, it's probably my favourite as well. You can do so much stuff. Sop the front legs, back legs, and head. There nah, lion head, right? <laughs> no. Look at this. I think yeah, uh, we sh you, you should take a look up. at Lioness Tarantula as well. It is also an excellent unit. Will, I'd be tempted Not, to go the lion front was, legs, man. I, I don't know if it's quite as good as that, though. I think that unit might be better. I Ooh. like the bolt because it's too much alike. It is, it is too much alike, but 23 damage with pack. Yum, yum. And poison. Yeah. Uh, what was that, uh, Bishan? What should you go for me? Oh, the, the tarantula. Tarantula uh, and Linus. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, that's nice. We've seen you use these. Oh, hell yeah. That's, that's the perfect organism. Just like it's that. Done. It's perfect. <laughs> very, very, very. Um, so with uh, Linus front back legs as well. Ooh, yep, that just gets down. Yeah, cool. You can actually give it barbs too. It's not bad. True. True, true, true. Pack Hunter with barbs. I have a level 3 I made, I don't see anyone using it, and I wonder if it's good compared to other level 3s. Yeah, hit me with it. It's a bull, but with the tail of the lobster, and also uh, the pins. Oh, yeah, 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 that's good. Yeah, that's yeah good. bull it's, lobsters. It's, it's just a lot of elect for level 3. I like uh, that level 4 more. 150, I think it's... I think they're great. I think they're good, man. Um, way too much like for me. They get beaten by the great white shark bulls one on one, but they're so good at tearing down structures. Eighteen damage is actually heaps too. 
Yeah, that's a lot of damage. I mean, compared to 12 on the Great White Shark Bowl. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Sweet hot damn. Good stuff. All right, well, let's wrap this up with a couple of tournament predictions. What are you guys thinking? And uh, you can't vote for yourself. Can I vote that I'll lose? No. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, Pinello! We don't take that kind of talk. This is national pride. Quebec must shine. I think yes. everyone is expecting uh, UK to win. Uh, Mutt Sniper. I'm expecting UK to be dominant. Yeah, I mean UK, UK Canada's got a good chance. That's your team, Will, Will with Logan. That's that's they've got a good chance to proceed. Thank you, thank you. Well, I think yeah. the third seed, and that's behind uh, Switzerland, Black Tigers. Wow, I think they're also a very, very good team. So third seed, that's that's pretty cool. Um, my my the dark horse in this tournament, and the one that I'm most excited about is obviously Scotland because Matt Dom. Um, yeah. But, Neither I think that's going to do very well. Neither of whom seem to ever play. Seated, and I think they're very good. I think they're, I think they're seated fifth, right? Or fourth? Fourth, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Um, they, so they definitely... Actually have run by. I reckon them, uh, them playing at their best could definitely be like second seed, I'd say. Um, but yeah, Dom's, I agree. Dom's kind of a black box to me. I don't know too much about his play because um, I barely ever see him play. Um, and I don't think I don't think we'll see their full potential because I don't think they're gonna like coordinate because <laughs> I know Matt. Yeah, been playing a lot more. Dom's been playing more. Yeah, but I don't think he's gonna. I don't think him and Matt are gonna strategize too much. Um, I, I don't think they need to. I think they're both the sort of players that are very. They have that potential just to dominate a game. Yeah, I think they both do. Well, I just yeah, hope I could I could do. see them doing very well. Um, that's that would be really really cool. I'd love to see like them go on a tear. Um, obviously, B Champ Ben also going to be good. They're going to get through at least round one, round two against the Black Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> round two against the Black Tigers that. is going to be tough. Um, and then round three potentially against uh, England Canada. My wow, team. that'd be a good matchup. That'd be cool. Uh, I think we're thinking pretty far ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm let's talk about next year's honest. World Cup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, you're right. There's no point projecting that far ahead. Um, but yeah, the Black Tigers, definitely. I'm excited to see what they bring. I also think Team France have upset potential, too. Yeah, that's a great point. I don't know anything about so, them. I don't think Fiend I've ever and played funky. with them. Fiend and Funky, yeah. Uh, do we see do yeah, we see they, a lot of ability play from out. them? Uh, I, I I think you do from Funky. You see a lot of poison, that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. But Fiend is a very aggressive early game player as well, from what I've played. So yeah, uh, yeah, he certainly sometimes is. Sometimes stopping that is is difficult. That's the recipe he's, for success, honestly. He's tough at level two, um, and I think. They, but he's very good at, at mixing it up, and so if he were to, um, you know, if I were playing him and maybe I were preparing to get rushed at level two, and then he, I would just see him go fast three, and I'd be like, oh crap, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you just you just never know. So his change change ups are really good as well, and they're pretty tight as well. They know each other's games really well. Yeah, they like we said earlier, they uh, play a lot together. So yeah, 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 yeah. Um, hopefully everyone just manages to find the time to play their games and um, if so I think we'll have some really entertaining videos for the stream we're gonna see how many we can commentate I think we'll try and I think we can realistically try to commentate all of them even if they're dead casts that's fine but we can like yeah my aim is absolutely to uh... Uh, sorry what's that pen Oh, sorry, I was just saying that we can commentate on the video afterwards. Like, exactly right. Replay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I think we might end up having to do that, but we'll see. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Um, and... all, the channel, all the videos will come to the channel, though. Correct, yeah, yeah. All the games that get played, <laughs> even if we end up with half of the bracket forfeiting because they can't find a time to play. <laughs> <laughs> which might which might happen which that's might a distinct possibility happen. yeah we'll see well hopefully look hopefully we'll be able to put on a show for you today um with america versus australia um 
and I guess just keep your fingers crossed, keep your eyes open, hopefully it'll pop up on your feed. Um, thanks for tuning in to this World Championship preliminary interview. Um, we'll we catch... just turned into a gameplay discussion. Yeah, with just B-champ. Literally, uh... just, literally <laughs> just turned into uh, us looking at the army builder, but that's fine. That's what you people love. Um, thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time. All right.